Mortimerosa is a very unique murder mystery game from Zoc Verlag. Because of the unique mechanics in this game, you will need a quietish atmosphere to play in. Mortimerosa seats two to six players and is recommended for ages eight and up. Setup is fast and takes only a few minutes. Place the investigation sheet in the middle of the table. Construct the hotel tower. And then you're ready to begin. You start by dropping the two red cubes representing the murder victims into the tower. Then each player will drop in two of their own cubes. Once each player has two cubes into the tower, you take turns trying to locate the bodies of the victims. The yellow player begins by looking for the body of the victim on the fifth floor. The body is found, the red cube is taken and placed onto the investigation sheet. The other cubes are removed and placed off to the side. Because the brown player has two cubes on that floor, he must add two cubes from his supply onto the investigation sheet. The blue player must now also add one cube from his supply. The cubes from the floor are placed back into the top of the tower. It's now the brown player's turn. He will try to find a victim on the third floor. The victim is placed onto the investigation sheet along with a cube from the black player. Because the brown player is the player that discovered the body, he will remove his cube from the tower. The black cube that was found on the floor with the victim's body is now placed back into the top of the tower. Now that both bodies have been found, we're ready to begin phase two of Morde Morosa. During phase two, players will have to either accuse another player of being on a certain floor in order to arouse suspicion, or state which floor they were on in order to successfully cover their tracks. The blue player will start by guessing that the black player is located on the second floor. We reveal the floor, find two black cubes, that means that the black player must now place two clues onto the second floor. All the cubes that are on the floor are now placed back into the tower. You are able to accuse more than one player at a time. For example, the black player will accuse all of the other players from being on the seventh floor. We reveal the floor. We find two brown cubes, so the brown player must add two clues to the investigation sheet. The yellow player must add one. Now because the blue player was accused and there is no cube there, the black player who made the accusation must now add one cube for each incorrect accusation into the tower along with any of the revealed cubes. The black player could also choose to cover his steps. To do this, he states which floor he was on. He will say the second, reveal the floor, and remove one cube from the investigation sheet for each of his own cubes revealed on the floor. The cube on the floor still goes back into the tower along with any other cubes that were revealed. Players will continue to make accusations until one player either runs entirely out of cubes in their supply or any player has 10 cubes total on the investigation sheet. Once the game has ended, it's time to count score. Each clue found on the same floor as the victim counts as three points. Each cube found on the floor adjacent to the victims is worth two points. And each cube found anywhere else on the investigation sheet is worth one point. At the end of the game, the player with the fewest points is the winner. 
Morta Morosa is a truly unique experience that appeals widely as a family game and as a filler for experienced gamers. With playing time lasting roughly 30 minutes, you'll have no problem getting this onto the table.